hi and welcome back to my channel this is video is a haul that we got from uh, the Wagga Wagga uh, Rotary book sales it has just recently been on and my husband usually takes me over there for Mother's Day um, as my Mother's Day gift well that has been the last couple of years and our daughter wanted books this year so we thought well we'll go over again and and have a look for some books for her as well so while we were over there we had a walk around town as well and I ended up buying a piece of this um, oh gosh I can't think of the name e uh, it's an art store and it starts with E and I can't <laughs> I'll try and remember to put the name up here on the on the screen but I bought some of this um, carving lino and I want to have a little go with that I've got some carving rubber but I just wanted to have a little go with the carving lino and just see which one I liked better yeah so I bought a sheet of that from the art store we had a nice walk around town and um, we um, stayed at the showground that was the first um, time we'd taken our van, our van away so everything worked well that we um, have done on it so far I've got sequins all over me <laughs> everything worked well and um yeah we're still a little bit to go to finish it so we lined up um early for the rotary book sale and i'll show you the haul that i got not as big as what i have got in the past because every year that you go there it's different you know it's got a different feel different books different um atmosphere and all that sort of stuff but i'll show you what i got this year the Secrets of Herbs. This is just a little book. Now, the, the whole deal with the Rotary book sale is you fill a bag for $50. And the bags are quite big. They're the big recycle bags. So Dave and me, we, <laughs> we <laughs> when you get, just before you get to the checkout, we reshuffled and, and, and got it down another bag. So <laughs> we didn't have to pay so much. But, um... Yeah, most of it was stuff that we got for my daughter anyway, the kids' books. But there's some pretty things in this book. It goes through all the herbs and like the little fairies that go with them. Is it the little fairies? Something like that. So I thought that was a cute little book. yeah I got the key guide to Australian trees I usually go straight for the flower books I don't know why when I get there we line up early and race in there and <laughs> it's a big frenzy people all looking for their their what they're looking for and <laughs> Well, it's a nice it's a, it's a nice thing to do you know we um they have oh they had this year they had rec old records um cds music um paper i didn't get any of that um children's books and then just mixes of all sorts of books then they have a specialty section where the books are a bit dearer but um and i didn't look in there either so <laughs> i just picked what i wanted and and we got out of there and yeah so these that's a nice book didn't have that one and to go with that one is this one the key guide to australian flowers didn't have this one either i was actually after the, some of these key guide books So this one it's already busted up so it's not going to hurt me to um you know start using it which is good
beautiful pictures all illustrated so they were nice pickups really liked them this one a complete book of house plants now I picked this one up because it was um, it was all illustrated and it had some really pretty pictures in it so See, it's just all that illustration, old illustration style. See, they're all um, old bottles. I've got a few of them. There's some beautiful stuff in here. succulents cactuses I wasn't going to get it and then when I opened it up you know you have a quick flick through while you're trying to um, find books just to see if you really want it or not and then I haven't had a chance to look at them until we got home so There's some beautiful illustrations in there. I love these ones with all the coloured leaves. We've got the African violets and the leaf shapes, which that's a really cool way to display it, actually. Yeah. So I'm not sure what year this is. I'll try and have a look. Okay, copyright 76 for this book. So that was nice, liked that one. Um, I picked up, there was two of these books and I grabbed them both because then I thought if I grab both of them, then I don't have to wait until I've got two before I cut it up. <laughs> Some really pretty flowers in in this. Some really pretty flowers in it. Deciding which side of the page to use as usual, but they are brilliant pictures. So I don't know how new these are. What does it say there? Copyright. Um, gosh, I need to put my... And how are you there? I need to put my glasses on. I've been looking at these on... I found these on um, eBay and they were really overpriced. So there you go. I found two at this um, at the book fair. Nice pickup. All right. This one on roses. Um, a lot of you might have seen this brand book a time life encyclopedia i haven't i think i've got a fern one this one's the roses and there's some absolutely stunning rose pictures all the way through so nice nice pickup i can glean out of that um i think i've got a couple of little um golden books i got timmy visits the doctor paddington at the seaside i liked this one because um i can add it into my seaside book when i do a shell one jamie looks let see he's looking at the bug <laughs> oh god uh, i think i've got one at least one of them and Christmas mice. I thought that would be a cute one to, you know, to cut up for Christmas. 
a Christmas book when I do when I do do one <laughs> um what next the little mermaid and now I do I think I do have one of these as well it's a reader but it's I love it so be able to cut it up in my sea books I got a little circus book circus frolics <laughs> with the little dogs this one's a cute one I can use all of this in a circus book this would be pretty cool so happy to get any circus books a little collection together now so that was a cool one um, this one the pond that turned into a puddle um, I think this this might have been one of the books that we grabbed for Asher but I think it was a bit too ratty so I thought I can cut it up and use it it's got some nice illustrations in it There's that one. This one was beautiful. The Water Babies. I've been looking for this book. And this one here looks old. Doesn't have a date in it. As usual. But the illustrations are old. The writing's in blue. that one water babies um the pixie of o'harris fairy book this one's just got illustrations in it just black and white illustrations Oh, there's a nice under the under the water one. Oh, that's nice. I wonder why it's stuck in like that. It's beautiful. Right, so that's that book. The Baronia Babies. Now I had the whole set of these when my dad chucked out all my stuff. Oh, it's just heartbreaking. When I was growing up, I had the whole set of the May Gibbs ones, all the different flower babies. This one's the Baronia Baby. Yeah, heartbreaking. Another seaside book. Sister of Sisters of the Heart. Well, there was, was some seaside pictures in here, but I just like the illustrations in this one. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful one too. That might be a nice one to just make a whole junk journal out of. Um, this one. Caroline to the Rescue. It's an old children's book. Some cute graphics in there. Not sure how oh hang on. I wrote fifty-five. Wow. Um we got a snuggle pie and cuddle pie times table. Now I grabbed this one just 
purely to cut out pictures. Beautiful pictures in this one. Because there's multiples of, you know, things. So yeah, this one's just purely for pictures. Um, what else? So this one is the history of the hoppers and it is, it says in the back where the date is, um, first published in 1912 but this edition was 79 and it's got some Oh, really old pictures in here. I'm this uh, my camera just does not like it at all. I've never heard of the book, but it's got some amazing, amazing old pictures in it. Oh, my camera doesn't like it. <laughs> I'm showing you the pictures that aren't white. I mean the, the pages that aren't white. Oh. Yeah, so that's it there. The history of the hoppers. Yeah, nice old book. Okay, this one, Cinderella's Party. Oh, I hope this one's not gonna flick on me. Yeah, this one's gonna flick on me too. But it's got um black and whites of illustrated pictures of different nursery rhymes so I'm not going to show you that one because my camera is going to go nuts on it last one that is that I got for junk journaling is this one women's fashion of the early 1900s and this is a great great resource book I'll see if I can It's just got some beautiful, beautiful pages of all sorts of stuff. And beautiful pictures in here with hats. So that's what that book looks like. And who put it out if you want to look it up. Love picking up these sort of books. Now that was my, that was the haul that I got for junk journaling. And the last few that I got are for my personal own personal collection because they're craft books. So I went through the crafty section this time, hand embroidered country scenes. And see if I can get, you know, just some ideas out of um, how they've put things together. What they've used. Look, they were interesting books. You can see the different materials that they've used to make these scenes. It's gorgeous. So there was that book, there was this one, Raised Embroidery, Practical Guide to Decorative Stump Work. This one looks like it's going to have something different in it. Little kid there with doing his stockings.
that's interesting shows you how to do little people's faces and things I like that a picture there of a girl in the garden how to do their hands and all sorts of things that's pretty cool so these are just going to be my reference books in my own personal library guide to beginners guide to stump work look at the mushrooms on there aren't they cool This one's got some cool stuff in it. Love the mushrooms. Leaves are beautiful. Look at those mushrooms. Nice. This one, stump work embroidery. Look at the pictures, aren't they gorgeous? I may have had this book at one stage, um, and then um, when I was cleaning, when we were cleaning out the house the first time, I think it went to the op shop because the kids were helping me clean out and. Um, you know what it gets like it gets like well where did that book go <laughs> yeah and then my last book for my own reference is the ultimate crochet bible this one's by jane crowfoot i have seen her stuff on the internet so hopefully it's a good book Look, it's got some good stuff in here. I'll just have to sit down and just go through it slowly and check it all out. So I love my crochet. Taught myself to crochet when I was um, when I was unwell, and that that helped me to get well. <laughs> so I um, hold it dearly to me my crochet so they are uh, that is the crochets ultimate Bible ultimate crochets Bible all right so that is my book haul from this year's um, this is, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> Rotary Book Hall from Wagga Wagga. Um, it wasn't a big haul, but it was enough. Like, you know, the first year I got a lot of books. Second year it was a little bit less. This year's been a little bit less as well. But, you know, every year's different. You know, you don't know what books you're going to find. Um, yeah, like I said before, every year's been different, different feel. But we got um, a few bags there for our daughter, for the kids, and hopefully they can have some fun and enjoy them too. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Press that bell button for notifications. Um, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think of the haul that I got. And I will catch you again real soon for a new video. Bye!